So we have this model that we're using to help you, and this our workshops are structured around this model. And the idea is to start with the problem, help you to clearly state what the problem is you're addressing, and we, and then we're actually going to ask you to do a little research on that problem. And we think the reason we want you to do this is because the more you know about the problem you're solving, then the better you can present and sell that idea. If you think about this, whether you're talking about launching a business based on some sort of educational technology or creating an annual fundraising event that will support a foundation, you need to sell your idea to people, right? You need to excite people about your idea. Um, you need to invest them in your idea. And that all takes time. And one way that you can do this is by knowing a lot about the problem and then the people who are affected by the problem and then the solution. So, so our project is going to be a, a limb for developing countries. So in a lot of cases where you see people who have had a limb blown off or had to be amputated due to infection, they don't necessarily have the facilities to get the really high quality prosthetics that we can get here. So what we want to do is we want to blow mold or roto mold a new heavily customizable but really cheap to make prosthetic that they can use in place of what they're using right now, which is mostly non-medical grade equipment that they find lying around. It's actually so far, what have you been, been doing so far? You've de defined a problem, you've got a problem statement in one way or another. Who's affected by the problem? You started to look at that. How are they affected? Why is it important to solve this? So we're going to try to put that in a context for you tonight. And we're going to move this to a context, Steve talked about it briefly, of what we call a, a business model. Well, what you're doing eventually in the pitch is you're saying, who am I serving? What value am I bringing to them? How am I going to sustain this? Isn't that a major portion of your pitch? Mm -hmm. We also have information on resources. And tonight we're going to spend some time talking about resources and what types of resources people need. So we talk to a lot of doctors. We talk to some distributing centers. I talked to a group that runs out of Guatemala, actually, and they were ecstatic about the idea of just having very cheap, easily producible limbs to, to distribute to kids. What's neat um, here is you guys have, over the last couple months now, have refined this yes. a bit. So yeah. I know when you first came in here, you had a couple of different ideas. You're mm -hmm. trying to figure out what problem. You've looked at the problem more closely, right? You've looked at what other people are doing to try to refine it. And I think that, that their concept, um, there's this whole discussion around serving the bottom of the pyramid. I thought it would be helpful to let you know what we're planning to do with a rocket pitch, right? Because ultimately you're going to do a bunch of research over the next few weeks about your problem. You're going to do some brainstorming. You're going to put together this rocket pitch. And how many of you have done a rocket pitch before? A rocket pitch? Have you ever seen teams where they split it up? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, in fact, at Convocation, uh, the uh, all the teams split it up because there were three teams. There were two people on each team, and they split it up. Uh, and in, you know who does a great job splitting it up? Our, um, uh, Adam McLaughlin and Jordan Ty, who do supporting devices, the Crutch Guys, mechanical engineers. Um, they do a really good job. While one of them's talking, the other one's kind of hobbling around. And uh, the other thing that makes rocket pitches work um, are a are, are props, right? So if you have a prop. Right? So even if it's made out of cardboard or, or paper mache or a prop of your device is really valuable in terms of uh, helping people to connect with you.